Welcome back, boys and girls, to another lesson with Miss Brown, remote style. Today we are on book 75. The book is called The Hare and the Tortoise. So grab your book, grab your writing book, and find a new page and head up. So book 75, The Hare and the Tortoise. So a hare is another word for like a rabbit or a bunny, but it's a bit wilder and it's normally bigger. Okay? And a tortoise walks on land. You can have tortoises that walk on land and turtles swim in the sea. I didn't know that for the longest while. It took me a while and it was like an aha moment. All right, so we're going to be looking at comparisons. You can actually use um, the suffixes, the ending parts, er, er, and est, est, to show comparisons. Okay, so I have some base words over here. These are just words that stand on their own without any parts in front, the prefixes, or any parts at the end, which are suffixes. They're just words that can stand on their own. So these are our words. Okay, so we have the word fast, slow, try to say it before I say it, tall, small, big, long, funny, silly, and easy. So for most of these words, we can just simply, that's my book down. We can simply add ER to show a comparison or EST. But with some of these words, there's going to be a slight change. So at this point, put me on pause so that you can write these base words down. Write our two header, ER and EST, and then we'll begin. All right, so one child can be fast, but another child can be faster. So this is very simple. You just have to add an ER. So it will become faster. But then another child might be the fastest. So this spelling doesn't change either. We just add EST. Fastest. And as always, at any time if I'm moving too fast, just press me on pause and then we can continue. Okay, the next word, what's that word again? Slow. Just have to add an ER, becomes slower. But somebody might be the slowest. Just add EST. Okay, put me on pause to write that down. Next, the word is tall. No, no change in the spelling. It be, can become taller. Or one child might be the tallest. Next word, small, what should go here? Smaller, over here, smallest. Okay, now this is where we get a change. This is a CBC word, consonant, vowel, consonant. And the word is, use your decoding skills, big okay since it's a cbc word since it's a cbc word the rule says that we're going to have to add an extra consonant letter we have to add an extra g so we can't write b i g e r because that would be biger we have to put another g and then e r bigger same thing with to make it biggest we have to add another g so b i g G E S T, biggest. Next word, long becomes longer. Adding an E S T to it makes it longest. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put a little squiggly line because everything switches around down here. All right, so if you notice, all of these words end in Y, okay? Y changes everything. So we have the word funny, we have the word silly, and we have the word easy. So to add these suffixes, ER, to show a comparison, so one boy can be funny, but another girl can be funnier, and then one child can be the funniest. 
we can't leave this Y here. We actually have to drop the Y, add an I, and then we can add ER. Okay, so funny, we put in a red becomes. Okay, then we drop the Y, add an I, ER. Funnier and funniest. Okay, silly. Silly becomes sillier. Drop the Y, add an I, ER, sillier, and silliest. Drop the Y, add an I, EST. And then the last word is easy. Same pattern. Drop the Y, add an I, ER, easier. Drop the Y, add an I, E, S, T, becomes easiest. Okay, so these are some spelling patterns to pay attention to as you're reading so that you know the correct pronunciations and also for your spelling. Okay, so now it's time to read our book for today. It's a level J book, The Hare and the Tortoise. So we're gonna, what we're going to do for this reading is we're going to take turns reading. When we are reading together in class, I sometimes read with you, especially when we come across those tricky words. So what I'm going to do since we are remote is that I'm going to read the first page. I want you to follow along and I want you to put me on pause and then you read the first page and try not to make any errors. Okay. All right. So the hare and the tortoise. Okay. So we're starting on page number two. Ready? So follow along as I'm reading and then I'm going to stop and then let you read. A long time ago share with you as well. A long time ago, there lived a hare and a tortoise. The tortoise was quiet and kind, but the hare was loud and liked to brag a lot. Do you know what it means to brag? So if you are a bragger, that means that you think you are the best and you're kind of showing off. Okay, so he's doing a lot of bragging. I'm the fastest animal of all. He would say, no one could ever beat me in a race. Now at this point, put me on pause. I want you to read page two. Okay, all right, moving on to page three. Hare bragged so much that no one believed him. You talk so much, said the frog, that you don't have time to race. I'm pretty fast myself, said the squirrel. Me too, said the raccoon. Okay, put me on pause and read. Okay, moving on, page four. You are not as fast as I am, said the hare. I'll race you. No thanks, said the frog. Not today, said the squirrel. I don't think so, said the raccoon. Okay, pause. Page five, but quietly the tortoise said, I will race you. You must be joking, said the hare. You are the slowest animal of all. I'm not joking, said the tortoise. So the two agreed to race the next morning. Okay, put me on pause. Okay. Page six. Animals from near and far heard about the race. By the next morning, a crowd had gathered. Everyone was sure the hare would win. After all, he was the fastest animal. But everyone hoped the tortoise would win. After all, he was the kindest animal. Soon the hare and the tortoise were at the start line. Okay, pause. Can you read? Okay, page seven. The frog rang the bell and the race began. The hare took off like a rocket. He ran past the tortoise and called, Goodbye, tortoise. This will be a very easy race for me. Lots of those word work words. You see them? Down here. The tortoise walked slowly along the path. I will not listen to the hare, he thought. 
Let him say what he wants. I will just keep going. Okay, pause. Okay, page eight, halfway done. The hare was near the finish line. When he looked back, he could hardly see the tortoise. This is such a silly race, he said. That slow tortoise could never beat me. I can take my time and still win the race. Pause. Page nine. So the hare stopped to eat some leaves. Then he drank some cool water from the lake. He ate and drank until he was very full. Pause. Page 11. Sorry, page 10. The hare started to feel sleepy. I think I'll take a little nap, he said. The tortoise is very far behind. I can rest and still win the race. Pause. Okay, page 11. So the hare sat down and closed his eyes. Soon he was fast asleep. He dreamed that he won the race. Pause. Okay, page 12. Meanwhile, the tortoise walked slowly along the path. He had walked all day. He was very tired, but he didn't stop. Soon he walked right past the sleeping hare. Pause. Yes, I, heard, I hope that you're getting these words correct. Okay, on to page 13, almost done. Page 13. Is that the finish line? The tortoise thought. Yes, it is. All the animals are cheering. I'm almost there. Pause. Have the little signs. Go tortoise. Okay. Page 14. All the cheering. My dog is scratching at the door. All the cheering woke up the hare. What is going on? He asked. Then he saw that the tortoise was almost at the finish line. Oh no! This can't be happening. No one could ever beat me in a race, he said. Pause. Okay. Page 15. The hare jumped up. He ran as fast as he could, but it was too late. The tortoise crossed the finish line and won the race. Okay, pause. Last page, guys. Page 16. I can't believe that you beat me, said the hare. The tortoise smiled and said quietly, Slow and steady wins the race. And after that, the hare never bragged again. Okay, so put me on pause. And you can read that last page. All right, so what do you think was a lesson that the hare learned? Maybe that you shouldn't brag so much because if you can't put your money where your mouth is, then you might be embarrassed. And what that means, that's an expression. So that means if you can't do what you say that you're going to do, it leaves you feeling kind of silly. Okay, so it's, it's not that good to brag. It's better to be humble. Humble means that even though you know that you're good at something, you kind of keep it to yourself. Okay, all right, so we are done with the hair and the tortoise. So I read through it with you. We, we got to do repeat readings. Ms. Brown read first, and then you read after me so that you know what some of the tricky words are. So now what I want you to do is I want you to take the book and find someone in your house, um, older brother, older sister, mommy, daddy, grandma, auntie, uncle, somebody, cousin. I want you to read it to them and try to be accurate. And the cool thing about this book is that if you have a bunch of people in your house, it has a play. So you all get to be different characters. So that's another way to improve your fluency. Okay? All right. So I hope that your reading is improving. Thank you for sticking this lesson out with me, and I will see you next time. Bye.